Hi everybody, I'm Sergio with Mobility Direct and thank you for joining us in today's video. In today's video, we're gonna show you the two best mobility scooters for going grocery shopping or shopping in general. But before we get started, I do wanna point out a few things. First, if you wanna get a copy of our free product catalog, all you have to do is go to our website, mobilitydirect.com, click on the green tab at the top of every single page that says free catalog, Fill out that simple short form and we'll mail one to you. It should reach you in about one to two weeks tops. Something else I want to say is if you subscribe to our YouTube channel, you'll automatically get entered into a giveaway to win a free mobility scooter. We give away a mobility scooter every six months. So you're already here, it takes no time at all. It's free, just hit that subscribe button and you're automatically entered. With that being said, let's go ahead and get started. The two best mobility scooters for grocery shopping that we feel are going to be the best are made by Pride Mobility. We have the Zero Turn 8 and the Zero Turn 10. Known as the ZT8 or the ZT10, this is the Jazzy ZT8. Um, and the reason why they are called Zero Turn scooters is because they have two motors and the back two wheels work independently. They go in the opposite direction of one another and you can spin in a circle almost staying in, in one place, kind of like a wheelchair. So in terms of being able to do a U-turn in a grocery aisle of a store, these are gonna have the best turning radius and they're gonna be stable with the four wheels. The ZT8 does come standard with the front basket, but we've upgraded it with a large basket, which you can purchase. And the ZT10 comes with the large basket already. Both of these scooters have suspension. They both have really nice lighting packages and the ZT8 is gonna be rated for 325 pounds, but the ZT10 is rated for up to 400 pounds. There's also a little bit of difference in the speed. The ZT8 goes up to 5.9 miles per hour, where the ZT10 can go up to 7.5 miles per hour. ZT10 also has bigger tires, so it's gonna be better for going on grass and off-road. The ZT8, is more for just indoor use hard surfaces but you can traverse over grass for short periods of time if you're not close to the maximum weight capacity so we're going to take you on a ride both of these scooters are equipped with rear baskets so you can see here there are some rear cage style baskets which are optional accessories that you can order when you go and place your order online with us we do offer tax-free sales free shipping and you can see all of the specifications on our website as well. We'll put the link in the description below for all of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and ride the ZT10. We're gonna have our coworker and teammate Chuck ride the ZT8, and we'll meet you inside of the grocery store to give you some real life examples of what it's like to take these in a grocery store and actually get some things, fill up your front and rear basket. Unfortunately, there aren't really any other mobility scooters that have really big storage containers to put a ton of groceries in, but you can probably put jug of milk, loaf of bread, some fruits, hopefully some veggies, maybe a bag of chips and fit it all in here. So if you want to get more shopping done, unfortunately, it's not really that easy. And especially if you have some sort of disability or mobility limitations, it can be difficult to carry these products in and out of the back or the front to put them in a vehicle. Um, both of these scooters do come apart, so you can take them apart. The ZT8 is much easier to take apart and a lot lighter. Check out our video, in-depth videos of each one to see what it's like to take them apart, put them back together when you're transporting them in a car. The ZT10 is not really gonna fit in most cars uh, in the trunk space, but the ZT8 will. Uh, it comes apart into five pieces. The battery box comes out easily. The front detaches from the rear. The seat comes off and the handlebar folds down. So you can fit all that into a pretty small trunk space of a car. So let's go ahead and get started with that ride along. I'm gonna take the camera and we're gonna roll out to the grocery store. All right, so I've got the Delta Tiller set up here on the ZT10, just like the ZT8. All you need is one finger to go forward. You pull to go forward or push to go back with the right hand. And I'll show you here that you can do that with your left hand independently. You'll pull or push to go forward and backwards. So on the left side, it's inverted. You have to pull back to go backwards and push forward to go forward. Since I'm right-handed, I'm gonna go ahead and switch back to my right hand. 
and take off. We do have a couple of different things on the dash here to control our top speed, which is the big knob in the middle underneath the battery meter. So if I want to limit my top speed, I use that knob and it gives me a little bit more control while I'm driving. So for example, right now it's on the slowest mode, which is Eco. It's going to give you the longest travel range with your battery charge. You can go into EV, which is environmental mode just for walking around and then sport mode. So I'm going to keep it in EV mode and just go ahead and start riding. You do have a horn, some turn signals here, the light switches and the battery meter there. So it does have automatic brakes, which means as you may have noticed, as soon as you let go of the throttle, it stops and it's not going to move even if you're on an incline. So there's a ramp up here. I'm going to show you, I'm going to stop on the ramp and it's locked into place. So it's not going anywhere. I'm even kind of shaking around trying to get it to move and it's not going. Same thing with the ZT8. I'm riding the ZT10 right now, which is the bigger of the two with the 400 pound weight capacity. If you notice, there's a big lip right here on this uh, curb and it's pretty significant. So it's a big bump. Now I have suspension on this model and the ZT8 and it handled it like a champ. It's also no problem to go on grass with this model because of the big tires and it just handles really, really well. So I'm going to go ahead and adjust my camera here and we're going to make our way into, turn this down, I think I'm going to put the speed down while we're uh, going into the grocery store just to be considerate. Don't want to accidentally bump into anybody. As you can see here, nice little ground clearance. Entering the store. Hello. All right, tight turns here. No big deal because we have the zero turn scooter. It can turn really sharply. So I'm gonna just do some really tight turns here to show you. I'm going through some really tight spaces here. No big deal. So let's see, I'm gonna get some fruit. I love some pineapple. Put it in my front basket. Let's see. What else can I get? Some skinny pop? Why not? Popcorn's a light snack. And let's see if they have some water here. I think there's water in the back. Yep. All right, so obviously if you have mobility limitations, this might be difficult, but I'm gonna grab some water here. And uh, believe it or not, it does fit, which is nice. And I think we have a pretty much a full load here at this point. I could probably put a couple of small things, but I mean, you could easily put two gallons of milk back there and still have enough to throw some things on top probably. I probably have room to still put a few things in the um, back. So I'm gonna see if I can stuff up some more things in there even with the big old pack of water that we put in there. Let's just see what we got here. Now I'm gonna show you here, we've got Chuck with us. Hey Chuck. How's it going? Do you want to follow me over here? 
We'll go down some aisles and show the turning radius. So I'm gonna show, go ahead in front of me and do a U-turn, Chuck. Chuck's on the Zero Turn 8, which is the smaller version of this scooter. Now watch, he can do a U-turn in this aisle probably without having to turn around because again, these scooters have two motors. So if you look at that left wheel, do that again for us, Chuck. The left wheel stays completely still while he's rotating. Try and come close to me if you can. Nice. So doing U-turns in here is totally possible. Um, I'm gonna see if we can get a couple more things. Let's go on to the next aisle and see if we can get a, maybe a coffee drink or something. Or a six pack. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> All right, it's, we're still working, so no, no six packs today. Uh, let's see here. Hey, Chuck. Take the camera for me if you can. Turn around and I want you to sh let me do a U-turn so you can get the shot of that so our audience can see both scooters doing a fabulous U-turn in the middle of an aisle. And this is with the big ZT10. So I mean, if I could do a U-turn with this 400 pound weight capacity scooter, that's pretty impressive. I honestly don't know if it's gonna make it. Let's find out. You ready, Chuck? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna cut the wheel completely to the left. Oh, I could do it no problem. Ah. I could probably do it a full 360 in here. Pull back a little bit and see what you can Let's do. Let's see. Do it again. All right, ready? Let's see this again. No problem. So you'll see one of those wheels locks into place when I turn. That's the beauty of it. Look at the front wheels here. See how much they turn? Most mobility scooters won't be able to turn the front wheels that far. Thank you, Chuck. Let's see if we can get on down the next aisle and just get a couple of things to drink. For the shop, we got some water. I'm thinking maybe we'll put a little coffee drink here in our back basket, see what else we can do. All right, so I see an energy drink here. Uh, nitro brew. Let's try nitro brew. Sam Adams to the left. Sam Adams, Sam Adams to the left, he says. All right, so we've got our arm bag here that just fell off, needs to be tightened a little bit. But I think for the most part, we've got some room here for a couple more items. We've got the 24 pack of water, got the front basket with some popcorn, some fruits. We could probably fit a few more things in there. But the point is, we're doing grocery shopping. Oh. <laughs> we're playing bumper carts right now. So we're gonna start heading out. I think this serves the uh, purpose here to show you what it's like to go grocery shopping with a mobility scooter. The only other thing we could recommend is in the future, we're working on partnering with a company that is selling a bracket that attaches to a grocery cart so you can tow your grocery cart around with you. Obviously, the grocery cart will be pretty far behind, so it might not be easy. Hey, Bob, how's it going? Oh, this isn't the handicap lane, right? I gotta go there. Uh, number one or five. Yep. No problem, thanks, Bob. So these lanes with the handicap sticker at the top are wide and we are able to go through them, but looks like Lane number one is not open, so we're gonna have to go to number five. And it looks like five is open. All right, hello, how are you? Yeah. We're uh, gonna give out cards to everybody that you see limping around. No, we actually work right next door. I know. Oh, okay. So yeah, we're just doing a demonstration because a lot of people want to see what it's like to go grocery shopping. Yeah. So I've got the water in the back here. Yep. I'll and see you in that. and that's it. Yes, sir. 
I'm Sergio, by the way. That's Chuck. I'm nice to meet you. Well, we're we're frequent goers of uh, Fresh Market. Yeah, well, you know, if you work next door, it's just easier. It's making another stop on the way home. Oh, I thought you could maybe just scan the code there. Oh, your gun's not going that far. I'm sorry, I made you work. The scanner didn't uh, reach all the way back there, but next time I'll come closer. Nice and small. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. All right, so what's the damage? All right, I figured it would be like 100 bucks with the inflation. No, you know what? Are you a member? You should really sign up to be a member. Just uh, scan your uh, camera over the Okay, QR I'll take that. It takes the right to you to our website to sign up. Perfect. Uh, our sales are really phenomenal. Awesome, thank you so much. What was it? Now Thursday was chicken for six dollars. Oh, this week chicken for six dollars, and then um, oh, thank we you. have um, bistro meals. Thank you. Which is a, a, a yeah, I get those all the time. Yeah. Well, you, if you remember, you get a free giant cookie. Oh, oh, yeah. oh I'm signing up double right now. I'm, yeah. I'm gonna have to borrow your phone and get two accounts, okay? Five dollars. <laughs> yeah. A multi count this time. Awesome. Well, thank you so thank much. You, have a good day. Appreciate See you it. soon. All right, so we're heading out. You ready, Chuck? I'm on you. Let's do it. Looking good there, Chuck. Looking good in the ZT8. Yeah, you've got the, the high speed mode on, I can tell. You want to race? Oh, I don't know. All right, I'm going to turn the speed up to uh, sport mode. I'm going to burn the tires out here. Woohoo! I'll beat you to the shop. Who do you think's gonna win? I'm on the ZT10, so unless he's got some sort of apex path that he's taking, I should smoke him. Oh, he took the apex. The Pythagorean theorem worked. Crash. <laughs> he used the Pythagorean theorem, everybody. He's a mathematician. He knew it. The, the, hypo the hypotenuse. <laughs> All right, Chuck, you ready? Yep. Let's do this. So Chuck's going to be a gentleman here while I'm recording. He's going to open the door. And we've successfully completed our grocery shopping experience. So I'm just going to turn this scooter around here and just again show you what I was able to fit in here, show you how much extra room there is. And Chuck's making his way in now too. Look at that fancy looking ZT8. I love that color too. By the way, we do offer custom paint jobs for those uh, scooters like the ZT8 with detachable shroud covers. Uh, just the other day, I don't know if you've already subscribed, hopefully you did, you would have noticed our video of the paint job we did for this Endurance. Nice electric blue color, it looks awesome. So once again, we have our water with some extra space to put some things on the side. We have our full bag of groceries in the front. And if you have two people and you're going as a couple or with a friend on the scooter, you can do uh, twice the damage and probably get a couple of 12 packs. Anyway, I'm Sergio with Mobility Direct. That's Chuck. Thank you for joining us in this virtual experience of what it's like to use a mobility scooter to go shopping. Again, this is the ZT10 and the ZT8 by Pride Mobility. Check out the links in the description below to learn more about them. Have a great day, everybody. Before you go, please don't forget to visit our website, mobilitydirect.com, and click on the green button that says Free Catalog to claim your very own free catalog. Just fill out the short form and it should get to you in about a week or two max. I just wanna take this time to personally thank each and every one of you for watching this video. We couldn't do it without our subscribers. So if you like our content, please go to YouTube, search for Mobility Direct and subscribe to our channel. You can enable notifications. That way you'll get notified whenever we release new videos. We're constantly making great videos. We have tons of playlists that range from repair videos, unboxing videos, research and development, and much, much more. If you like this video, please 
feel free to give it a thumbs up and ask any questions in the comments section below. We love hearing from our audience, whether it's feedback, comments, or suggestions for a new video topic, we love hearing from you. None of this could be done without our loyal audience. We hope to hear from you. Thanks for watching again. Have a great day.